So there it is, the three knife starter set from Flex Cut. And as you can see, it actually has four pieces, uh, three knives and uh, some yellow honing compound, or gold, sorry, as they call it. Now, full disclosure, I did open these already, and I've spent quite a bit of time with them, actually, but I did want to put them back into the packaging to give you guys an idea of how it looks coming from the factory. As you can see, not a lot of fluff here, nothing really all that special, just some regular old packaging. Now one thing in their favor is that to open these knives I didn't need a knife. It just pops right open as you can see. Very straightforward. And here we go. Let's set all of these out. So the way I'll do this review is kind of in six parts. So the first thing is what's included and we've kind of already gone over that three knives in the gold honing compound which you can apply to a leather strop and actually on the back of the packaging it looks like they just use a regular old leather belt nothing wrong with that and then of course you have the three knives so that's number two of what we're going to talk about so each individual knife let's go ahead and start with what they call the cutting knife a very interesting term kind of redundant in my opinion um, I think perhaps more appropriately this would be called a chip carving knife but uh, that's not really my field of expertise, so I'll just go with what they call it, and that is the cutting blade. Next up, we have the detail blade, and that is a one and a half inch blade, and uh, a little bit smaller, a little bit of a pointier tip. Uh, I don't know if you can see, it's not entirely pointy, though. It does have a little bit of a bevel there. And then lastly, we have the roughing blade which is a one and three quarters inch blade. And as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than the other one. Here's the next step down to the detail knife. And basically that's just so you can take out larger chunks. Although I found that it works relatively well for detail work as well. But obviously that's where this one really shines. So I usually reach for that one. Now the third thing I wanted to talk about is the level of sharpness that you get right out of the box with these. So. Uh, across the board, I was extremely impressed with how sharp they come. Without any additional honing or sharpening, they just glide right through the wood. So here's uh, just a piece of scrap wood that I keep around. And it just powers right through it. So I have to give FlexCut a ton of credit for sharpening their tools in a very efficient and useful way right out of the box so that I don't have to worry about uh, sharpening it myself on a stone or on some sandpaper and what's really nice about that is that when they come from the factory with that extremely sharp blade all you have to do is maintain it so you just grab your leather strop and just kind of keep up with the sharpening instead of having to sit there and grind it out especially if you're not too versed in sharpening techniques or if you're not too good at it like I'm not at the moment getting better but that's alright because with these all I have to do is just maintain them so that's one reason I would imagine that these are a little more expensive than some of their maybe more mid-range counterparts like beer craft or something like that but that's definitely a point in flex cuts favor so good job there all right, so number four, we're going to talk about some of the build quality and materials that FlexCut decided to go with for these. So to start with, the type of steel is a 1095 high carbon spring steel, which is a very robust steel, especially for this type of application. So for a carving knife, what that means is that you get a really strong blade, but also it's going to hold its edge really well. And as you can see, they're not too wide but they're not too thin either. If I were to compare the roughing knife to maybe the beer craft here, you can see quite a bit of a difference there. Now that extra high quality steel, I have not noticed any difference in durability or flex, ironically, given their name, but the extra thinness does help a lot gliding through that wood. Now the Rockwell Hardness, according to FlexCut, I reached out to them and they informed me that their knives are between uh, 55 and 58 on the Rockwell Hardness scale. Now that is just a, maybe a little bit lower than ideal. 58 is kind of the lower limit of where you'd want your Rockwell Hardness to be for your carving tools, given that generally speaking you do want it to be maybe uh, around a 60 or so at least, so that it has good edge retention and you don't have to find yourself sharpening it all the time. 
Fortunately, as long as I've used these, I've only had to sharpen them, and by sharpen I just mean run them across the leather strop a few times, and that's only once about every 30-45 minutes or so, so they do hold their edge very well, and they've stayed razor sharp, which I was very impressed with. The handle is made of ash wood, and it seems to have this kind of laminate on it, which gives it this really smooth feel. Now again, if I were to compare that to the Beavercraft, that has no such uh, laminate, so that's personal preference really, because I don't mind the laminate, but it does make it a little bit slicker. It makes it feel higher quality in a way, but as you're carving, I do almost prefer the kind of just rougher feel of actual unlaminated wood. But in any case, the handles are lightweight, and their shape is very ergonomic, so I've been very happy with that. Overall, each one of these knives, as you're holding it in your hand, it definitely gives you something to grab onto, and then as you're making those kind of finer cuts, especially those ones where you need to get in there and, and rotate and push like this, this having this little hook under your pinky here is a really nice touch. It just gives you something to kind of use as a as a lever. So overall the shape, the build quality of the handles and the steel, top notch as far as I'm concerned. Good job flex cut. Alright so point number five is ease of use. Now that's kind of a hard thing to quantify especially because it's a little bit subjective but what I consider to be easy to use is a kind of a combination of the thickness of the blade as well as the overall sharpness but also just the ability to wield it as a carving tool. Of course ergonomics come into play with that, the shape of the handle, the weight of the handle, all around just the general build quality you can feel as you carve. Now as I've played with it, just doing something very simple like cutting out the faces I've been using for practice here, it just makes super quick work of anything you do and it's kind of hard to describe but it just feels high quality so it feels like it's going to last a long time and I haven't noticed any issue with it bending there's just a tiny bit of flex there and I'm pushing really hard oh, better watch it little bit of flex but nothing major definitely nothing you notice as you're carving and so hopefully as I kinda cut through these you can tell just how easy it's gliding through and honestly I've noticed a huge difference in the ease of just carving basswood is what I'm using here but if even if I move on to something harder like ash or oak obviously these aren't as easy as basswood but they still power through it all right, so number six is the overall feel, which we've already pretty much discussed, and the final verdict. Now, uh, assessing these all on their own, not comparing them to the beaver craft, not comparing them to any other dedicated carving tools, either from FlexCut or another brand, I have to tell you, they are phenomenal. They're not only very, very sharp right out of the box, uh, they just feel high quality. They feel weighty, uh, substantial in your hand, and they don't feel like they're ever gonna bend. Now, of course, these are pricier than some other 3-in-1 kits that you can find, especially on Amazon. Um, they're not quite as pricey as some, though, so they're kind of in this middle range that you would expect kind of uh, higher quality than most of the others you find, but without having to spend, you know, $25 per blade. Overall, I can say I'm extremely happy with how these perform, and I think that whether it's your first time knife set or if you just need a couple of extras, especially in this roughing knife, and the detail blade that it's well worth the price and because they come so sharp right out of the box all you really have to do is maintain with a leather strop and that might be the only thing you ever have to use if you you know keep up a regular schedule but not having to sit down and work at these with a stone or with some sandpaper is a phenomenal advantage in my opinion and the fact that they include this little honing compound for you if you just happen to have some leather sitting around that's all you need now I can't really say too much about this um, other than it works as well as any other honing compound I've used. Now um, not to compare too much but Beavercraft does include some honing compound as well as a leather strop in their three blade kit. Now of course theirs is this green one. You can't really see it on camera but it is a green shade 
and I've used both of these and they both work very similarly so um, I don't have anything negative or positive really to say about this it's just some decent honing compound it's kind of a good general purpose all around it's not too fine it's not too rough it's just used to maintain those blades and it works really well for that the only other minor thing is that this chip blade or uh, cutting blade as they call it isn't necessarily the most valuable addition to this set um, they do make a whittler's kit I guess you could call it which includes just two knives so if you don't see yourself using this knife the three knife kit may not be worth it for you and instead you could just pick up their two knife set which is just a little bit cheaper and I believe it does include both of these blades on their own so to summarize, the FlexCut 3-in-1 starter set includes a 1 and 3 quarters inch roughing blade, a 1 and a half inch detail blade, and a 1 and a quarter cutting blade, whatever that means. Each blade is made of 1095 high carbon spring steel with a Rockwell hardness of between 55 and 58 and the handles are made of a kind of laminated ash wood. It also includes this gold flex cut honing compound which I found to work really well and so I have nothing bad or good to say about that it's just kind of in between. Overall the blades feel weighty and substantial in your hand and they don't feel like they bend or are at any risk of breaking or breaking down in the future and out of the box each one of these blades comes razor sharp and all you have to do is maintain them without having to worry about sitting down and sharpening them just to get them whittling or wood carving ready which is a major advantage especially compared to some other brands where you do have to work at it a little bit so in that regard even though these are a little bit more expensive than some other offerings you'll find maybe on Amazon or elsewhere the fact that they do come razor sharp is a big advantage if you're a beginner because you don't have to worry about setting that bevel on there and it just comes like that right out of the box. So here's what they get from me. That's two thumbs up in case you couldn't tell. Good job FlexCut. If you're looking for a new set of blades, whether it's your first or you just need some more, I would highly recommend getting these and using them for yourself.